This is the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, the newest phones from Apple. So in the box, it's a pretty familiar experience. You get the paperwork, the phone, lightning ear pods and headphone adapter, the charging brick and lightning cable. There's really nothing new here, but the phones themselves, those are. The biggest difference is now the back is made of glass. It comes in three colors, silver, space gray, and this new gold color. The gold is kind of like a mashup of gold and rose gold from before. It changes in different light, but has a nice middle ground between the two. Same with space gray, it's kind of a more gray version of the black iPhone 7. And while the overall form factor is the same as the iPhone 7, there is a noticeable difference in weight, the 8 is heavier, and it's a bit easier to hold, the glass on your skin gives you a bit more grip. But that glass on the back isn't just for looks, it also allows for Qi wireless charging. Now this isn't exactly wireless charging of the future, you still need a cable to plug into a pad and then you need to place your phone on the pad to start charging, but you don't need to plug anything into the phone itself, so it is wireless. Aside from the glass on the back and the new colors though, there isn't too much new on the outside. You still have a 4.7 inch screen on the 8 and a 5.5 inch screen on the 8 plus. However, these screens have been upgraded with better colors and they now have true tone. So the screen will dynamically adjust temperature to suit the environment around you. The screen definitely looks better than it did before, but I wouldn't really call it a revolution. When using that screen to watch videos though, one upgrade that is noticeable is the speakers. They're rated at 25% louder than before, and this is an upgrade that you're going to hear. Now, on the inside, the 8 is running the new Apple A11 Bionic chip. This is a 6-core processor, and it's supposed to be faster as well as more efficient, and it has a new Apple-built GPU that should be 30% faster than before. Initially, when you first open up the phone, there isn't too much of a noticeable difference, but where this processor should come into play is when doing intensive tasks, like AR. Now, on the back of the phone is the new 12-megapixel camera. This is an update to previous versions, it has optical image stabilization, an f1.8 aperture, and the sensor is larger. Also, the flash is now quad LED and should help more evenly light your subject. What this means is that you should be capturing better photos in more situations. Now, on the iPhone 8 Plus, you have the dual camera system. One is the same camera as on the iPhone 8, but the other is a telephoto lens with an f2.8 aperture. But with this dual camera, there is now an updated portrait mode with a feature called portrait lighting. This allows the portrait to be shaped with lighting effects like you may find in an actual studio. It's still in beta and doesn't work perfectly, but it's an interesting concept. On the video side of things, the 8 and 8 Plus can record 4K at up to 60 frames per second and 1080p at up to 240 frames per second. So a big upgrade there as well. So now the question, why would you get this phone over the iPhone 10? Well, a few reasons. Sure, this phone looks almost the same as the ones before it, but that also means that this phone is going to work how you expect and how you're used to. It still has Touch ID and a home button, plus the 8 gets almost every feature that the 10 will, and you can buy it today for a cheaper price. The iPhone 8 starts at $699 for 64GB, and the 8 Plus starts at $799 for 64GB. Overall though, this new iPhone 8 is a noticeable upgrade from the iPhone 7, and you probably won't be disappointed if you buy one. But that is our hands-on with the new iPhone 8. Be sure to let us know down below in the comments what you think of this new iPhone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm Matt Gonzalez of MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.